Hey guys, I heard Indy here. Today we're gonna review Tormentor X Punisher. Now I've been playing this game for a while. So this is not a scripted review. I'm actually gonna review the game as I play it. I think I am a little bit knowledgeable of most things in the game in order to give you a good um, rationale as to why you should get this game. So it's essentially a twin stick shooter if you wanna break it down and it's Whoops, I forgot to play. <laughs> and it gets it gets kind of hectic, but it tries in the way that is hectic. Now, if you pick this game up and you just start playing it, and nobody told you anything, which by the way, the game doesn't tell you anything, and nobody does as well, you will basically just you'll just start shooting people, and that's fine. And You'll die soon, and <laughs> because it is a one-hit game, one one hit and you're dead. But after a while, you really begin to see that there's way more to this game lying beneath the surface. For example, you see those green guys? The green. Oh, okay. So they have shields. If you piss them off too much, they will chase after you for a short period of time. Okay. So you see a wizard's. Um, I, I don't know what you'll call that fireball Simply just touch me and I'm dead So it is a one-hit game um, If any of the if any like let's say this guy if we, okay, see you see how he, he struck me with that knife Now that's important because if they touch you you don't actually die he, They actually have to hit you in some way shape or form. I think that was my first zero ever you see this little green man running around? These are some of the little added touches that this game have to give it some really great personality. This little guy comes out every single time to annoy you. And in the beginning of the game, I'm not sure if there's a glitch, but I was able to shoot a little bugger once. And a couple other things you will figure out along the way. And I think, uh, I think the achievements will really help you figure this out. Are that they're power-ups. Um, actually, before I even say the power-ups, I should say something that's very vital to the game. So you have two guns or two modes of shooting. One is a regular gun, and the other one is a shotgun. Now, again, you're not gonna figure this out the first time you play this game, and it'll take you a while. And figuring out is actually part of the fun. But, um, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire the truck. I'm gonna fire just the regular gun actually, right? I'm gonna do it right now. So you see how it does it, it doesn't last forever. There's a lifespan to the shot, but as the shot goes on, you'll see that uh, uh, different types of bullets come out, harsher ones, and the final one leaves a trail of fire. Okay, so here's a boss. Um, comes out every once in a while without giving out too much information about the bosses in the game each one of them have their unique weaknesses and strengths and it's up to you to really figure them out at some point you might want to go onto the steam forums to really see what people are saying because having that discussion with others is part of the experience of this game now to reload because yeah you do have to reload you have to fire the shotgun so the shotgun is your reload. Firing the shotgun reloads. Um, yeah. I said the same thing too. I was like, what? In the beginning. Oh, crap. Notice how the player that kills you is highlighted. This is so helpful in analyzing your gameplay and knowing what it is you did wrong. So you basically fire your shotgun and you reload. So here's the thing that you wouldn't know at all the power-ups and you have to be careful of how you obtain the power-ups otherwise uh, you, you kind of want to get as many power-ups as you can so that you can get the highest score but depending on the order of which you get them some will cannibalize the others so for example I'll show you I'll show you one power-up real quick Wally -E. that's when you when you backfire shut off the wall and you kill some enemies and you sell a little meter, you build it up, and um, and you'll get that power up. Now, the power ups as well, you have to figure out what it does when you get them. Some of them are obvious, some of them aren't. 
like this one, my uh, my Wally shots travel further. At least I think that's what they do. Um, and there's just so many others. Now, I'll show you one more to get you started if you do play this game. So you see that trail of fire? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get it. Once you let that trail of fire go, once you fire your gun and you let that trail of fire appear, if you shoot your shotgun through it, you also create another trail of fire from those shotgun bullets. So let me show you right here. Right, and then and then you could just start flaming people. Let's see if you can do something right now. Well, there, there are not enough enemies on the screen. And again, there is a power up for that too. That one is awesome. But you want to be careful. Um, you may not want to get that one first, as it will cannibalize some others. So you see, look, I just fired a shotgun, I, and depending on how long that goes, you could create a chain with that. Alright, so it's all about finding creative ways of, um, of beating each other up. And uh, it's quite fun, it's quite challenging. Uh, there is a two player mode, which I, I begged my wife to play with me for so I could get a little footage of it. I don't have a lot of experience with the two player mode. But for want of play with my wife, it seems to be identical to the first player mode. You do have your own separate leaderboards, so they're separate from the single player. And when you when one person dies, the game still continues, and you could revive that person by standing over them for a little bit of time until a meter fills up. There's so many other things that I didn't mention about this game. The little things like all the buddies that remain on the floor when you kill them, the adrenaline pumping music, that badass intro. There are just so many little neat touches and little hidden things to this game that when you see them revealed, it's you see how much energy and effort and thought and love, yeah, love went into this game. I highly, highly recommend this game. I think you'll be playing it for a long, long time, even if you just pick it up for a minute and play it one day. Let's fucking do this!